Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and I'm joined here by... Mini Paw. Mini Paw. And Mini Wolf. I see, and Mini Algorithm, and Mini Soren, and Mini Fireball. I don't know why Soren's here. I don't know. He's there. It happens. He usually turns up when you least expect it, and want it. Well, at least he's not vomiting UU everywhere. Give him some time. Uh, I spent a lot of time over at our tree farm, and I have lots of um, wood at the moment, so... I found I know another you trophy. Did you? Like, already? Yep, it's in this room. Really? Would you like to see where, where it is? I would. Follow me. Okay. Following Pahamar to a trophy. Do you notice anything funny about this pillar? Nope. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Neat. There's like a little thing in there that's disguised as something else. I like it. So we get two villagers and two blocks of iron. Sweet. I will gladly take that. I'm going to put those things away in a chest somewhere to hide. Indeed. And I'm going to go take the trophy to the trophy room. Okay. While you're doing that, didn't we need iron for some kind of quest? Or was I making that up in my head? You make up lots of things. I, I, oh yeah, no, I was right, totally right. Spikes, we can do the iron spikes quest. I don't know why we want spikes, but see, and I was thinking of the iron for buckets. Buckets would work. Um, what we're gonna need, you were thinking for the for the climate control quest, right? Yes. For jelly cryopium, so we can do buckets, uh, but we're gonna have to craft some kind of tank. We have and them. And we have what? Tanks. Do we? Yeah, we have two portable tanks. Sweet. Where? In here? Oh, yeah, look at that. Cool. So those can store 8,000 millibuckets. So that's eight buckets each. So, yeah, we could totally do that. So we could do our gel and cryothium quest if we needed yep. to. And you got and me a lot cool. of wood because I want to go. You know what I should do is because it takes a long time to grow, I should plant these ender lily seeds in the farming area over here. Since we were given them, I assume we're going to need ender pearls at some point. Are you going to give me wood so I can go get awesome stuff? There should be a stack in the far right chest. It's just really too bad that we don't have the ability to make torches right now. I agree. Fully. Alright, let's see if I can do this. Zombie. We really need a source of light. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Okay, this paper cleaver is really good. Yeah, it is. Just remember it swings pretty slowly. Alright, I've planted ender lily seeds in what used to be a wheat farm. But we have another wheat farm over there, so I'm not worried about that. Ender lily seeds take a full Minecraft week to grow, so planting them now will probably prove fruitful. Are you building a ladderish type thing down to where no, we need I'm to doing go? No, blocks. Okay. You know what's funny is I thought of a cool way to do this, and it, the recipe has been disabled. That's probably why. I assume the recipe has been disabled for this purpose. Uh, rope ladders from open blocks are like perfect for what we need to do right now. You place them down and they fall all the way down to uh, like wherever they hit and you can use them as a ladder to get all the way up and down. It's like pretty much perfect. There's a chest down here too. Sweet. I did like you that. name a horse sea biscuit? I did not name anything anything. Do you see Sea Biscuit on our map? I do. I assume it came that way. So there's the second level of the greenhouse, and there's the third. It looks like there is a third level of the greenhouse, yeah. by the way. Yeah. And look at that box. What box? The black one at the bottom. Yes. What is that? I don't know, but I feel like there's probably some loot in that. I would imagine there's something good in there. So, did you bring tanks and a bucket? I have a tank and a bucket, but I also want this dense certus quartz. Yes, what's in here? Ooh. 
Nice. Long sword, scythe. I'm gonna take this stuff. Can I have this crossbow since you got like the last ten of them? And I lost them. Yeah. I'll just clean out the chest. How's that? Sure. We're actually standing on certus quartz. You should be aware of that. Like, yeah. It's covered I, in snow, but there's certus quartz there. I know. I wouldn't dig it out because of jelly. No. Jelly death rothium. Freezing to death doesn't seem like a apt idea. No. So are we going to turn on hardcore questing mode, or are we just going to leave it off and say, like, count how many times we die? I think we're going to die a lot, so I think we just count. Oh. Okay, that's fine. I don't really feel like restarting the season in the middle of the season. I think we've generally proven that. So there's, I guess, no reason to turn it on if we're going to give ourselves, like, free life chests. Exactly. Okay. So we'll just keep track of how many times we die and be like, okay, we died so many times, we're terrible at this game, but hey, that's cool. So did we complete uh, 200 of these? Um, here, throw me all your Certus Quartz. Pahimar? Thank you. Yep, we got 200. All right, so you know what I'm going to do, Pa? I'm going to go get a QED and some liquid retrieval nodes. You wait there, and I'll be right back. YouTube will be back in a minute once I go upstairs and then back downstairs with Pahamar. All right, Pahamar, I am pumping some jello cryotheme into here. Or so I thought. Can I pump out the side of one of these? Put it um, on top of the transfer node, I guess. Oop, wrong one. It's all right. Oh. Do you have a magnet? Do you have a magnet? Uh, no. Oh, no. You're just close enough. Yeah. You know what you can do? Place it right on top of the QED. And then hit it with the wrench, not shift right click, but there you go. And that got us 35% of the way. Okay. I'll get us 13 more buckets. There you go. Put it in the top tank, and it'll automatically drain through. This works well, I guess just it's not as really fine. necessary. Yeah, it's not really necessary. And this is why the universe ended. Why? Because you need to over-engineer things. Well, you know what? It's what I do. 85%. Only three more buckets worth, according to my QED. One more bucket. Quest complete. Sweet. Hey, Crystalline Certus. Yeah. I got that covered too. Cool. So my quest rewards were spawn spider creeps. I don't know why I would ever want to do such a thing. And I got some colored bricks. Which is apparently a good reward. I got two more golden lassoes. Holding Jackam Fett and Pixel Picks. And I got five compressed cookies. Sweet. So should we start like making our way over towards something? Like you said that there's that skystone-ish type block over there. And there's more Certus Quartz over that way. I think we us go for the big black box because it's out of character for the rest of the biosphere. Okay. Just don't fall into the thing. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm trying really hard not to do that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something really smart right now. Yeah. It wasn't that. You're going to make slabs. That would also be smart. You're going to dump your inventory. Yes, that. Okay, you're under it. Oh, it's Skystone. We can't break it. What? Unless... Can we, like, break it and have it be lost forever? Interesting. Like, we might not be able to collect it, but... I didn't bring a weapon, by the way. I should probably do that if we're going to actually go in there and there's mobs.
You know, that's a lie. I did bring a weapon. Help, 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 help. I can't, you're in the way. You knocked me into the cryrothium. You're a terrible co op partner. Ah, I didn't get out. Why did you knock Why me into the cryrothium? Why did you hit me? I, you not, the skeleton did it, not me. Yeah, I'm hearing all kinds of excuses. I'm hearing all kinds of blame. That's because there is blame to give. See, that's why I dumped my inventory. That's why I also dumped mine. Who let the skeletons out? Who? 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 Exactly. Dun 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 dun. Hey, who skeletons thought up the there. awesome way to actually get in there? Pahi noob. Who thought up a way to get in there that was apparently pretty dangerous? Not Pahi noob. <laughs> Okay. Hopefully I can collect this stuff. Did you, do you have any wood? Cost me some, yeah, do, let me have some of that. So apparently there's only one layer of gelid cryothium here, so that's good. Yep, I got my stuff back. Sweet, me too. I got coral wool. You what now? I got coral wool. Really? I'm in the box. So that's where I was hiding. Sweet. There's a ladder. Ooh, Three bombs. Anyway, I got the coral wool. I approve of your getting the coral wool. I don't have a quest book because I left it out there. Yeah, me too. Let's head back. Dun 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 dun. This will get us a new zone, I think. That is correct, sir. You put all your stuff in the same chest I put all my stuff in, didn't you? Yep. But I know what awesome. I had. Know what I had. <laughs> that makes one of us. Uh, okay, everything else is yours. Okay. Okay, let's go up and uh, put the orange wool where it belongs and check out what the mining area looks like. Oh, is that what it is? Well, it says Miner's Delight. Nice. All right. I think yep. I got your pan. It's okay. I've got several. You can give it to me later. Before we do that, though, I do want to pop inside this room real quick and chop down any trees that have grown because I want to make sure yep. like I've harvested everything I can. Before we leave, do you want to go drop the orange wool off? Do not press the button until you tell me. <laughs> Ooh, ore finder, iron pickup. Yeah. I like all of these things. Yeah, no, it looks like a good, uh, good set of stuff. Well, first I'll go to the, is it the VM? And drop off the wall. Ooh. I just got plus one haste on my hatchet. Nice. Okay. Um, I am now walking out of the thing. Don't push the button yet. I'll tell you when. I haven't gone to... Okay. I'm in the spatial I.O. Okay. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. I'm clear. Good? Yep. Booting up Miner's Delight. Sweet. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, there's a lot of ores in there. But guess what there isn't any of? 
light. You guessed it. I do see uh, coal, though, so that's good. Oh, wait, but there's these uh, illuminators. I think we should go in before a lot of mobs start to spawn. Uh, you are welcome to do that. I need to offload my inventory. The reason I did that is I wanted to get the coal. Poor coal ore. You have to smelt it for coal nuggets. Nine coal nuggets make one beat of coal. I wonder how much storage our AE system has that's down there. Like, we should probably attach a monitor up here and we could be storing stuff in the AE system. Because he did give us um, terminal interfaces and such, and disk drives with storage. So we could be storing stuff in the AE system if we wanted to, by the way. That might be the desired goal. Yeah. The intended thingy of such. I'm just concerned about... I mean, we do have that big reactor downstairs that we could pump the gel cryothium into, and that would make it very efficient, but I'm not sure about our current... But now that we have this thing, we should be able to process yellow right. So I think... We're probably in good shape now. We could probably do that if we needed to. I wonder if I can get cobblestone. I, ooh, we can get cobblestone. Nice. I'm wondering if that opened up a whole new quest setup for us, by the way. Yeah, um, it opened up some availability of things. Yeah, like getting grout, my first alloy, lavender wool, ferrous and inbar, yellorium. Okay, lavender wool is the next goal. Chemical decomposer. That's probably the mine chem stuff. Yeah. Bronze and Damascus, yellorium. These zombies are not friendly. I'm not a fan of this place. Creeper! I'm gonna harvest up some of this poor coal ore and some of this other stuff, and uh, hopefully... Creeper. Good. Got the one to blow up the other, but I got hurt. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and assume that he's got it configured so there's no creeper damage. It looks like that. My goal right now is to collect as much um, iron and cop coal as I can, probably. Evil skeleton shooting at me. All right, now that I've gotten a few pieces, let's see what we can do with this stuff. We need a, we need the ability to smelt things. Uh, we can do that. We've got the redstone furnace over here. Oh, those guys hit hard. It won't allow me to smelt the poor coal ore in there, so I want three more pieces of cobblestone. Interesting, it goes into the alloy smelter, but it doesn't go into the furnace. Will the alloy smelter work it? Yes, uh, the alloy smelter is both a regular furnace and an alloy furnace. See that button on the bottom that says furnace mode? Uh, okay, so we just need to provide it with power? Yeah, I'll get some. He gave us... You 
know what I'll do? Is I will just, uh... Oh wait, he did give us conduits. Cool. Energy conduits. That should do. Uh, I wonder if we, we unload go. this space in Spatial I.O. if the mobs will despawn. Um, maybe. Because I'm thinking, remember what we did in Crash Landing where we built, um... A wall of sorts? Mm hmm Well, what if we were to do that to prevent the mobs getting to us at the closest minerals here? Uh, hmm. What do you think about that? Maybe? That might not be a terrible idea. Um, let me get some cabling going here real quick for a... a quick and dirty AE system, so we can start storing our stuff. Okay, I am going to unload that space. I'm going to find out if this AE system is functional. It does appear to be functional, yes. ME crafting terminal. Hey, there's stuff in there. There's stuff in there. Yeah, there's torches in here. Yeah. You took them all, didn't you? I did. Did you want them? There was also a reward bag that I got 64 sandstone from. And three skystone chests. I don't think skystone chests retain their contents. Yeah, I was correct about that. So... I don't know how long it's going to take me to break a Skystone chest with my pick. We're Do you want to mobs. regroup and come back in a minute? Yes. Okay. Alright, Direwolf, I got a plan to get rid of these mobster, uh, mobsters. They're what? mobsters, they're from the Italian mob. No, that's terrible. Um, my thought is we can use water to push them away, right? Probably. So since now that we have a bucket, man, finding that trophy was the key. Um, so now that we have that, I am going to reload the agriculture area. Okay. So I am staying away from the area. Right now I'm just moving all our stuff into the AE system, which I would feel better if I knew like where Why the power source was at our door already. Uh, they were there before you left. I apparently need to make a shield. Going to do battle to get a bucket of water. Sounds ideal. <laughs> and I'm dead. Fantastic. Sounds less than ideal. How did you die? He punched me. Oh, well, I could see that probably causing you death. Which one killed you? I will avenge you. Yeah, you can avenge but first, me. I will take your head. You, look, you got enough of your own. What? As I seem to recall, most deaths were caused by Pahamar. All cleared. All right, so the AE system is up and running. I'd really like to know where the power system is. Like, is this the same AE system as we have downstairs? I don't think so, because, like, I'm going to go check, but I don't think that's the case. I think this is a different network. Yeah, it is. So where is this thing getting its power from is really just my question. I'm also going to light up the inside of this so we stop getting creatures. Okay. See, I still can't get to the spatial incubator, and I don't know what that is. 
I don't know either, but it's still obstructed, so I'm assuming there's something we gotta do. Yeah. Um, like, I'm sure the reactor is what's running the AE system. But, that said, I mean, the AE system is draining a slow amount of, or something is draining power from our reactor. We should fill up some gelid cryothium in here, by the way, and get that in our reactor. But we can work on that later, I think. Um, we're all right. We have a good amount of Eulorium right now, by the way. We have, like, lots. So I'm not too worried about it. Plus, there's Eulorium in the Mining Age. I just want to be sure that the Eulorium, the reactor is what's powering the AE system. Okay, well, I got a bucket of water. Cool. Water or gelid cryothium? Water, because I'm dealing with the mobs in the Mining Age. Okay. That's cool. I'm also trying I'm to going reduce to the monster, uh, monster spawns in the biosphere. Right. Yeah, I'm really super duper not sure why the redstone furnace is not working. Yeah, unless he's altered the recipes for what it works with. I I don't know why he would do that though. Why would he do that and then like give it to us? So I've got two pieces of coal now. I'm gonna go mine a little bit more in that mining age when you bring it back. Uh, yeah, don't unload me right now. I'm gonna go get some gel uh, cryothium. Oh, you're going down to get it? Yeah, but I want to make sure that I get no monsters. Okay. That's cool. Because I'm staring at a zombie in gold armor. Who? yeah. Do you need help? No, I got water. Okay. Then I will collect uh, some farming resources that have been growing. Doesn't look like much has grown yet, though, so... Unfortunately, the water had to displace some gelid cryrothium. Yeah. Hmm. I could make a sprinkler and uh, water some plants. But I'd need a water source. Um, yeah. I would probably want something like an aqueous accumulator. I don't know if we have the resources quite for that yet. And we're doing okay on food, so I don't really want to rock that boat too much. Hello, zombie who comes out of nowhere. So, what is your plan, Pahimar? Do you want to come back in a minute after you've gotten your gelid cryo with him? Do you want me to come back? Yep. How should we do this? Um, I'm good. Let's come back once I got the gelid cryo with him. Okay. All right, guys, we're back. And guess what? Infinite water. Woot. We have all the water now. Yeah, so I'm going to go put the water I stole out of the biosphere back. Yeah. As a matter of fact, once we get a little bit more iron and more comfort around trees, the iron, by the way. we've got stack upgrades and some speed upgrades. All right, well, if you're going to swap us back to the, you know, correct dimension of mining and such, I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, we'll get so, the trees in a bit. Let's see. We also got that gelid cryothium for the reactor. Okay. Spatial IO. Are you swapping? Yep, you're out, right? Yeah, I'm out. Oh boy, there's lots of monsters that came in with it. For the record, they do not despawn when you uh, do that. So right, I have a reactor. few torches now, so I can light some stuff up. Okay, so the problem is, is... Oh, 
Where can I input the liquid? I wish there was something in big reactors to allow you to pump in liquid. Uh, no, you have to do that manually. It is very dangerous in that room. <laughs> yep. But I'm making progress. On what, killing monsters? Uh, no, laying down torches. I think if we can light the whole place up, we'd be in much better shape. Yeah, I'm actually not terrible right now. Oh boy, the zombie just spawned right next to me in light. Another one just did it. I'm not a fan. Okay, we have some jello cryothium in there. Nice. I've got um, some zombies. Remember, gel cryothium um, sinks down to the bottom, so yep. um, uh, we'll need a lot to fill the reactor up all the way, but it's a start. I think the control rods are inserted. Really? I found another trophy. Oh, nice. Yeah, the control rods are in 95%. Cool. Not that that's a big deal. Because the thing, I turned it on just to build up its buffer. It's definitely pulling power from the reactor because the reactor was at 63%. Yeah. So I'll let it run a bit. It's not using up a lot and it's also not generating a lot of heat the control rods are in so much so we really didn't need that jelly crow theme right now yeah, right it's at 60 celsius fuel reactivity 300 percent it's yeah. generating 530 rf a tick we are 0.1 percent depleted take that zombies All right, I'm going to hand in this trophy. It's a witch trophy. Yeah? It comes with a splash potion of strength, a splash potion of poison, and a reward bag. And I have Gideon Seymour's Bucket of Blood. I got Master Rod Protection 5. It's a fishing rod. That apparently protects me quite a bit. Trying to find the VM. Where is that teleport? There we go. I'll go put my new trophy. Wow, we found six trophies so far. Really? Really, really. What surprises me a bit is how much are left to find. Yeah, there's a trophy for every mob in the game. All right, I got the reactor energy buffer up to about 79%. I'm going to shut this thing off. Cool. And I don't think we need to worry about cryothium for a while. Right. Uh, we have monsters inside of our space. Inside of our what space? Inside the observatory. How'd that happen? I don't know. It should be well lit in here enough to that never happen. Yeah, there's another one here. What did you do? Nothing. The mini me's are okay. Um, 
Check out what I did do, though. Come over here to the entrance to the space. Where you mounted my head? Or, oh, you put spikes. Yeah. Sort of. Punji sticks. Oh, they hurt us. Uh, they do hurt us, but they will also hurt monsters. So you'll notice that, like, on the outer edge is where you want to walk. If you stay far to the right, you shouldn't take damage, I think. I haven't fully tested it yet. Yeah, it should be safe to go through there. What are you doing? I'm making a safe passage so mobs on the sticks can't get us. Okay. That's cool. Uh, so I think it's time to wrap up the episode, unfortunately. Sounds good. Yeah. Unfortunately, but I think it is. Uh, so I'm going to do some more mining in here and hopefully collect enough stuff that uh, I can make more torches and maybe light the uh, miner's delight area up a little bit more. I think that's a good idea because I don't like death. Yeah, no, death is bad. All right, guys, so for now, Daryl20 and Pahamar signing off on episode three. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll be back next time to, uh, you know, check out Miner's Delight a little bit more, see if we can find some better ores, process the ones we got, and uh, hopefully light that area up enough. Uh, I did get some enchanted boots with Unbreaking 2 and Projectile Protection 2, if you want, Pahamar. Uh, I'll put them in the AE system. You can have them. Sounds good. Have you moved all of um, our items into the AE system yet? Yeah, they should all be in there. Except for the lassos. I didn't want to waste uh, space with the lassos. Cool? Cool. Alright guys, take it easy. See you later guys.